Hey, yo, what's poppin'? So today I'm going to show you for Tutorial Monday. Ah, that makes me want to die. I'm going to show you something I recently learned about that is making my life just a lot easier, okay? Don't comment on my hair. What I learned how to do, and I'm going to show you how to do, is use your nice camera like this as a... webcam like this okay so the way to do this is actually somewhat simple compared to what i thought it was going to be so the reason that i wanted to do this was so when i live streamed i could use my like nice camera as my face cam instead of my webcam and so i have figured this out so right now i'm using my uh t6i as my uh live streaming webcam uh and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you have to do is you have to go to Amazon or wherever you want to buy something from. Canon T6i AC adapter. And you can get any one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you get. This one is Amazon's choice, so I guess go with this one. And what that does is it makes it to where you have constant power going to your camera. So you do not have to constantly be changing out batteries this what this does is this goes in your battery slot connects to this cable and then this cable connects to this and then it goes in the wall so it's basically constant power going to your camera so you never have to worry about changing batteries because obviously you're not going to want to get up half mid live stream and change out a battery so you have to do that chances are you already have one of these because this is the only way that you can or not only way but this is the main way that you get videos and pictures from your camera to your computer and you just need one of these so what you have to do is you have to connect obviously the power into the camera and then you run and then you plug in your mini usb to usb from your camera to your computer and then you need to download a software canon U utilities and then choose which camera you have it depends obviously which one you have it, it'll work for any of these cameras uh, this is just specifically for Canon, but I know you can do it with whatever, like other brands, like Nikon and whatever. So I have the T6i. Then it'll bring you to this. Then you want to scroll down and go to EOS Utility and then whatever model there is for Windows. Then you need to download that. And I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And once you get that and you open it, you're going to get something that... Uh, you're going to get just this little box and it's going to give you three options. Click Remote Shooting. Then it's going to bring you this. And this is like all of your camera controls, like digitally instead of actually on your camera. And then you want to click Live View Shoot. And when you click that, you're going to get something that looks like this, which is going to show you what your camera is seeing. So right now, you're basically using your DSLR or whatever as a webcam because it's connected to your computer just like a webcam uh and if you only want to do this for recording then all you have to do is click this button uh and click record and then it starts recording and then when you click done it asks you where you want to put the file and then you just tell it where and then you're good but the way to use this as a webcam for live streaming is a little bit more complicated and i'll show you so what you have to do is you have to come into obs and i'm just going to get rid of mine so I can show you. So you want to come into OBS and click add and window capture and then just name it T6i. And then you're going to select whatever this window is called, which is called remote live view window. And so you select that and then click OK. And then you're going to get this, which shows literally the whole window. It's going to show all of your controls and stuff too so instead of just cropping it out what you want to do is you want to hold alt and then crop it just to where your face cam is and then you have your face cam for your live streams and then what you want to do is just crop this down to whatever you're doing i'm gonna put it in my face cam border And then boom, you're using your DSLR or whatever as a webcam. 
boom bada bing gotta blam got him and then you just go live streaming so basically what that's doing is it's just mirroring over this this uh window this window that's previewing your camera it's just mirroring that over to obs so when you're in obs you want to keep this open you just put it down somewhere or whatever and then obs will show you uh and something that you may have is this which is following your face around which will show up in your obs because you're mirroring the window and you don't want that you have to click this right here and put it to face detection plus tracking autofocus and then come down here and click these like five grid bars and then that takes off that like square it's still gonna autofocus but it just won't have that annoying square you can't minimize it you have to keep it up just like put it down somewhere on your second monitor or whatever where you can't see it and then boom bada bing you got yourself a very nice face cam and i'm gonna compare this to my logitech webcam so this is what just a normal logitech c920 is which is pretty much the best webcam that you can buy that's a webcam so this is what this looks like compared to the camera so obviously pretty much every aspect of it looks better it's just my face is more washed out here and it's like more in focus uh and the colors are i don't know all the terms man okay so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash the like button this is my video for tutorial monday but yeah if this helped you at all uh leave a like and comment and subscribe because i need uh a thousand subscribers for monetization okay so just be sure to leave a fat subscribe and thanks for watching peace out